Hi, thanks for stopping by. I'm Ghost Prime. And with the recently released trailer for Transformers Rise of the Beast, where we got to see the on-screen live action version of Optimus Primal, I decided I would take this opportunity to take a look at the Optimus Primal we know and give a little history and just of the toy itself. But to start this, I have to start it out with this guy. This is a bat form of Optimus Primal and was released in 1996 with a two-pack with an alligator Megatron. These characters were not the characters from Beast Wars that we know. They were upgraded forms of the Generation 1 Megatron in Optimus Prime. But they ended up ditching that idea for the cartoon in 1997 when they came out with the Ultra Class Optimus Primal. Well, that's just Prime. Now this Ultra Class Optimus Primal has a ton of features and a ton of gimmicks because he doesn't really do a lot of really hardcore transforming because, well, he's humanoid form to humanoid form, but it is a great toy. Now, there's a few things about Optimus Primal here in the show that was unique, that he was not a seasoned leader. He kind of led a band of misfits characters that was new at the time. And if you haven't seen the Beast Wars show, I highly recommend it. You have to sit through some bad animation, so I do recommend a few beers, but it actually gets pretty good. Lots and lots of character development, and by the end of it, he is a, definitely a bot to be reckoned with. Now, this particular toy has been reissued recently in Walmart reissues, and I went dirt cheap, uh, which is how I got mine, like 15 bucks. Uh, he's had a lot of recolors, red version, and then there's a clear version, and then there's the masterpiece versions, and then there's his upgraded forms. I think there's like four of them. Um, in the show, and then more of them in the toys. There's a ton of Optimus Primals, but this was the, the one that started it all, and also started the whole phrase, which I'm sure you've heard, truck not monkey. It was people that didn't like Beast Wars, that Optimus Prime was a truck, not a monkey. But you know what? Why not both? Anyway, let's get into it, and before you do, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. So, without any further ado, let's get to the review. And here's the box. This is actually the Walmart reissue, but it is a reproduction of the original vintage box. And it, it looks good. You get the bright green around the, the, the rendering right there of Optimus Primal. He's the Ultra Class. He's in a huge window with tons of room in the box. I, this is just how they did it back then. The, both him and Megatron came in like the same size box. But it started out with these, you know, the bright colors. Very, very 90s looking box. And on the top, you have pretty much the same thing. Giant Beast Wars Transformers. The side with the eye. Became very iconic later on. And then you get some of the other toys in the line. And you have a bio card, which you could cut out, which a lot of people did. Now, this has multiple languages because it's the reissue. Same with here. But that is the box. I'm keeping this one in the box. It's a nice display piece. All right, and moving on to the bot himself. He is packaged in gorilla mode. And this is basically what you get with the gorilla. I don't know why this head on mine won't stay up very well. But this is how he looks as a gorilla. Now, of course, you can stand him up a little bit, but his head doesn't go forward like you would in the cartoon. But he's just a big, chunky gorilla. There's a gimmick in this, though. He does, if I get it to work, you could flip this switch. And I can get it a little further out. And he has chest-beating action, which I love how they did in the movie. But I think this is cool. Uh, that's one of the gimmicks he has. Now, he comes with a plethora of weapons, which actually you could store most of them on the figure. And I'll go over those weapons as we go through the figure. Um, Articulation-wise, like I just showed you, he could do those things. He could move his legs. They really are kind of meant to just kind of back up under here. So he's got some nice paint work on him. Face is painted and got the growl, big bright blue eyes. Doesn't look a lot like the cartoon, though. There is a version of it that does, but that comes much, much later. This is just his gorilla mode. He does have, you know, 360 the arms, go out, about, uh, about that far forward, kind of breaks the sculpt. Move his hands like this, like that, and like there. 
But that's pretty much it. As I mentioned before, there is not a lot of things you could really do to with this guy in gorilla mode. So let's just go over some comparisons really, really fast to see how actually big this guy really is. Here he is with the recently released Optimus Primal. So you can see this guy's much larger. There he is. Generation 1 Optimus Prime. You get a, just a good idea of just the sheer size. He's a chunky toy. Um, transformation is super easy. We're just going to go ahead and take these pieces, the shoulder pieces, and push them out. Like this. His head, as you probably already saw, because now it's staying perfectly. He doesn't want to come off. Uh, it doesn't want to pull open at all. There we go. Pulls open like this. Move the head around for the chest. Put that straight down. And what you see here is a mutant face. Get more on that later. Take the legs. Straighten the legs out. Take his little his little toes here. And just turn those around. Turn the waist around. Take the feet. Pull them down. One of the things I really love about this is this little shock piece here that comes out. I think that's really cool that they have that. I mean, for the time, it's really awesome. And then we have his robot mode. Like this, with the mutant head. Now, the mutant head was something that looks like a bat, too, which was something that they had a gimmick on. They also had mutant heads to begin with. It was an idea they did drop later. They didn't have it in the cartoon. So we could just take his head and... Just turn that all the way around like so, and either leave that up or go ahead and put that back. Now there's two missiles that could go store back there if you so desire. So and here he is in robot mode. See how he looks all the way around. He is a big, big boy. He has good articulation. Arms go all the way around. Same thing this way, out this far. Same thing as gorilla mode. Legs could kick up like that. Legs get hindered by his backpack for, for the reverse, but full knees, no, a little bit of swivel here, not a whole lot. It's kind of before they did that, and he has waist articulation as well. Head kind of can move up a little bit, a little bit like this all the way around. But you will notice his face is a full Optimus Prime style face that doesn't have his mouth visible like in the cartoon that was a change they made for the cartoon there was a version of this guy that his mouth is showing that they made later i believe it was the 10th anniversary came in a two-pack of megatron now as for the gimmicks he just has a ton so you push this little button back here and he flips out launchers these dual launchers which i kind of like put behind the ears there and that is rad these do fire they have a little button here that you can fire them. They fire well. I will lose them. I'm in the middle of cleaning my room right now. So this I've, I got piles of everywhere I'm uh, putting away. So I'm not going to fire them. But you can fire them. And he has storage here for his, his swords. Which I think is really, really cool. It's really awesome that he has storage for his swords. He also has inside of each arm is something different. So what we're going to do is open his arm here. As you see, there is a mace in here. This is one of his accessories. It kind of folds up. There's the mace. Let's see if I can get it in focus. It comes on a string. Put that in his hand. So for this one, you could take so you're gonna kind of get that. There we go. And that flips out. He has a, another missile launcher right here. Now you can put, he has two extra missiles right here. So he has two missiles here, two missiles here. These missiles can be stored in robot mode. They store right behind his head, but you do have to take them out for vehicle or uh, vehicle for, for monkey mode. Go ahead and just put those in. And those also fire. This guy has a just an absolute plethora of weapons. So let's go ahead and take these out real quick. Close this back up. Because he has another feature I want to show. Here's a sword. It just keeps falling over. 
there's this little dial right here, which if moved, it's supposed to, it doesn't always work, but it's supposed to change the gearing on the arms from banging on the chest to rotating. There we go. And that's kind of how it's supposed to work. They did fix it a lot of later version of this guy. So let's see if I can get it to. It's supposed to be able to swing his arms back and forth. There we go. It's one of the gimmicks. It is cool that you could switch it. Um, it's a little hard. They did fix the problem like that. That's hard to do because it's easier to do on, like, say, the universe one. But, I mean, just the gimmicks here and the fact that it's just a ton of weapon storage is very cool for a figure of its time. And he does stand up pretty tall. So it gives it actually stand up straight there. Here he is with the Masterpiece version. Let me just put him side by side there. Get him in the shot. So he's a, he's a big guy. So here he is against the modern Voyager and the shattered glass blaster. Generation one Optimus Prime. And generation two laser Optimus Prime. This is a figure that has a ton of playability, a ton of replayability. He just, he's super, super fun to have. He looks great on a shelf. He feels good in your hands and he's fun. So if you don't have one, I mean, pick it up. So that was a quick look at him and uh, so down for just some quick final thoughts. So Optimus Primal is an awesome toy. He has a ton of play features, a really cool gimmicks. He's just a super fun toy and they just don't make him like this anymore. If you missed out on the Walmart reissue, well, you could probably still find those relatively cheap. I picked mine up on sale at Walmart for like 15 bucks. I mean, there's nothing to it. Really, it's super fun for what it is. If you have kids, give it to them. It's just a fun, fun toy. There's a couple more variations I want on him. I, I love recolors. I, I don't know why. Anyway, thanks for stopping by and thanks for listening. I'll see you guys in the next review.